you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, the death he freely accepted. He took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of Jesus until you come in glory. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread and this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Benedict our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, the bishops across Canada, and this entire people of God. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to the arrest in the hope of rising again Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. So now we pray to God, our loving Father, in the words Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you in peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of this year's church and grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Jesus be with you always. Yes. Let us share with one another a sign of this peace and friendship.
This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are now called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us and all our dear ones unto life everlasting. Would those of you at home join with me now in this prayer to the Holy Spirit? Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. O God, on the first Pentecost you instructed the hearts of those who believed in you by the light of the Holy Spirit. Under the inspiration of the same Spirit, give us a taste for what is right and true and a continuing sense of His presence and power. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, you have renewed us with the sacrament of unity. Help us to follow your will in all that we do as St. Margaret of Scotland gave herself completely to your service in the care of the poor. May we rejoice in belonging to you. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. As Father Donovan said last week, this month of November we remember those who have died, not only on the first, not only on the second, and on Remembrance Day, but we remember them all through the month because somehow or the other we haven't learned the lessons of war. The war, the war that destroys not only those who have died, but also those who are living. Let us keep them in prayers during this month. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been celebrated. Go now in the peace of Christ. Our thanks to an anonymous donor from Victoria, British Columbia, whose generous contribution made the televising of today's Mass possible. If you're interested in making monthly donations using the pre-authorized checking method, please call our office at one 888 383 for details.